Hi everyone, it's Michael. So I have another great geometry problem for you today. Um, this one, like the others, I found on the Art of Problem Solving Forum. Uh, so if any of you are math lovers and uh, you participate in math competitions and you haven't checked out that website, I would highly encourage it. Um, there's a few other websites that are also pretty good. Um, Cut the Knot is a really nice resource, um, cutthenot.org, um, as well as uh, there's a site, Geometry from the Land of the Incas. So that's another really fun site if you haven't checked it out. Um, so uh, feel free to uh, pause the video um, and see if you can solve this problem. All right, so I'm gonna begin with the solution that I found which no doubt is not the only solution. So we have a right angle triangle ABC, where the right angle is at angle C, and B is any point on the side AB, so it can vary. Uh, BE is the perpendicular to CD, or the extension of CD, um, and, it, and uh, that perpendicular intersects at a point E, and then we extend uh, this, this segment DE to point F so that CE is equal to EF. And then we drop a perpendicular uh, from F to the segment FC and it meets segment uh, BD at G. Uh, we have to show that angle AFD is equal to angle BCG. So how do we start here? Well, uh, we know that, um, first of all, angle ACB is a right angle, and also angle CFG is a right angle. So if we want to show that angle AFC, or, which is the same as AFD, is equal to BCG, then uh, if we just add a right angle to each of those two, that's the same as showing that angle um, ACG is equal to angle AFG. And that maybe looks a little more natural. There, there's, there's probably a way to solve the problem without doing that, but it looks kind of natural to show that angle ACG would equal angle AFG. Um, and they both, both angles intercept the same side AG. Now here's a trick that I often uh, used. I probably used it in solving probably like 10-ish geometry problems before, um, but it's very useful. So if you have two equal angles and they uh, subtend the same side, so in this case, side AG, and that means their circumcircles have to be the same size. So we don't know yet that angle ACG is equal to angle AFG, but that's what we're trying to show. So if that were true, then that would mean that triangles ACG and triangles AFG would have the same, or the size of their circumcircles would be the same. So they wouldn't have the same circumcircle, but the two circumcircles would be the same size. So this kind of gets me thinking, is there any way we could kind of make their circumcircles overlap so that they're the same circumcircle? And so in order to try to do this, um, I constructed a new point, point F prime. So F prime is the reflection of F over AG. Uh, why did I do that? Because now, if you construct triangle AF prime G, we would now expect it to have the same circumcircle as triangle ACG if the problem were true. So not just that the circumcircles have the same size, but, but they should be the same circle um, if the problem were to be true and ACG is equal, to, and angle ACG is equal to angle AFG. Which, is, which would be angle A F prime G. So I'm gonna draw in a few more points just to complete the figure. All right, 
now um, so we have one way so we constructed f prime because we want to try to show that um, essentially a c f prime g is cyclic which would prove the problem but how else can we use the fact that f prime is the reflection of f over a g so there's a lot of other information in the problem that I still haven't used yet. Um, for example, CE is equal to EF and BE is the perpendicular to CF. What does that mean? By symmetry, we would have to have that triangle BCF is isosceles. So we'd have to have that BC is equal to BF. So drawing another segment in, another segment in, and we have BC is equal to BF, as I mentioned. So that means that we know that the angles BCF and BFC have to be the same. So how can we sort of utilize that in conjunction with F prime being the reflection of F over AG? So I'm going to do a little angle chase here because um, we have a lot of equal angles. So we see that angle BCD has to equal angle BFD since it's an isosceles triangle. But then that has to be the same as BFD since F prime is a reflection of F over AG. So by symmetry, those two angles have to be the same. So this is really nice because it gives us a cyclic quadrilateral. So we have angle BCD is angle BF prime D. So um, as a result, BF prime CD is a cyclic quadrilateral. So ultimately, like I mentioned before, we want to show that angle that we want to show that ACF prime G is a cyclic quadrilateral. Um, but we're on our way there. So how are we going to get there? Well, before we get there, I'm going to point out one more way we can use the fact that F prime is a reflection of F over AG. So we haven't yet used the fact that FG is perpendicular to CF, but because that's true, we have angle DFG is a right angle. So since F prime is a reflection of F over AG, D F prime G also has to be a right angle. Okay, uh, sorry about that. So now that we know that, we have a lot of information here. We have a lot of uh, equal angles. So we can try to use this to, to go for our goal to show that A C F prime G is cyclic. Uh, so I'm gonna do a little angle chase here. And what I wanna show is that angles ACF prime and AGF prime add up to 180, and that would prove that it's cyclic. Okay, so here's a little angle chase here. Uh, we have angle ACF prime is angle ACB plus angle BCF prime. But angle ACB is a right angle and angle D F prime G is also a right angle, as we mentioned before in this last step. So ACB is equal to D F prime G. And also B C F prime is equal to B D F prime since B F C D is B F prime C D is cyclic. Um, so that's where we use that fact. OK, and then uh, D F prime G plus B, D, F prime, well, those are two of the three angles in this triangle, uh, F prime, D, G. So they have to be 180 minus the third angle, which is F prime, G, D, and that's the same as F prime, G, A. So we've shown that um, A, C, F prime and F prime, G, A have to add up to 180, and so that means that uh, ACF prime G is cyclic, and this helps solve the problem from everything I've said before, because if ACF prime G is cyclic, then we have angle ACG 
is equal to angle A F prime G. And by symmetry, that's equal to angle A F G, since F prime is a reflection of F over A G. So A C G is equal to angle A F G. But if you take off the right angles, as I mentioned before, so if you, if, uh, for example, if you take angle A F G and you back out this right angle, then you get angle A F D. And if you take angle A C G and you back out this right angle, then you get angle BCG, and so that solves the problem. So if we, so basically said another way, angle AFD is angle AFG minus this right angle, and that's the same as angle ACG uh, minus this right angle, and that's just angle BCG. So I hope you all um, enjoy this problem. And as always, um, feel free to comment, uh, post a different solution. If you have the same one, you can post that too. Um, and uh, if you enjoyed it, um, give the video a thumbs up and hope to see you again. Uh, thanks, everyone.